politicians come on the show here and say, uh, and some of them even retired, who say that the, the demographic that we have now as an electorate, when you go to them and sell your vision, at the end of the day, many tell them, tell you as leaders, we are hungry. How do you then deal with that from the world that you've come from? Well, it is a reality. I agree with you. And, and that is why when you see a lot of crowds at rallies, um, everybody comes to rallies for different reasons. Some actually just want to come and hear what this person has to say. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, what really matters is your own personal conviction and your own commitment to explain to yourself why are you getting into this. And if you think about it, there are people who are getting into this because they are unemployed, literally. And then there are those that people describe as mad people, like ourselves, who are, as you describe, uh, leaving plum jobs to actually Did go Did someone actually tell you that? A lot of people say that. I mean, somebody has actually said, my friend, you, you know, dine with kings and queens, what is going on for you to go back to Mandera? <laughs> But I look at the county that I want to represent now, and I look back at the time when I was going to school in that county, and nothing much has happened. Yet, yet, the effort of the government is now shifting much more from the national government to devolved solutions. Mm. And if you want to make a difference and contribute, Give it a try. And so we are not mad people. We just want to see how we can make a difference. But ultimately, the choice is for the people who need uh, some of those services. And I really think uh, some of the things you've mentioned about people uh, who are given money to, you know. It's about handouts. To select that. Mm -hmm. it, it is unfortunate. But, but we don't want to give up. That needs to change because you got a leader now, you live with that leader for the next five years. And so we don't want people to mortgage the future of their children and their grandchildren by electing leaders who just give them today's lunch or tomorrow's dinner. Okay.